Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to the Everyday Until Dynamic Devotion and Prayer 8 a.m. Experience. You're probably wondering, come on, what is going on? Pastor D ain't said anything yet because I want to make sure that I get this in your spirit. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome in. Welcome in. Make sure you like, comment, share, and tag. Let somebody else know what's going on and what, and listen, let them know right now. Take your time right now and let them know what's going on, y'all. Come on. Let's go. Let's go this morning. How y'all feeling this morning? Come on, IG. How y'all doing this morning? Come on, Facebook, uh, YouTube. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Come on. Praise the Lord this morning, right? This is how we do it today. Today, I will give you inspiration. I will give you motivation, and there will be application on today. Make sure you let us know the city and the state that you're watching from. Somebody else is watching from there as well. All right? You come in with your hearts, you come in, that's digital praise, that's your digital praise. You come in giving God glory. It's Saturday morning, y'all, it's Saturday. Come on, we got not in our city, not on our watch, or not on our watch, not in our city. Uh, today's children are picking up, families are picking up uh, supplies. We've got about 22 families that I'm aware of, and you know, it's always going to be some more uh, after that. Uh, and then we're praying with you. And we're giving you oil. And on tomorrow, uh, we will go and we will uh, be a blessing uh, to the kingdom by praying over three school districts here uh, in our geographical location, McKinney, Prosper, and uh, and Frisco. And then those of you that are not in our city, you are partners globally, not necessarily members locally. Uh, you'll be able to go to your child's school with some blessed oil, uh, pray over it. And, uh, and bless your child's school. All right, so that's not on our watch, not in our city on today. Uh, what an incredible moment in time we're in. The power of prayer works. All right, come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is that time. This is that day. Listen, we do this every day. Those of you that are new, thank you all so much for joining in. Those of you in watch parties, those of you that are uh, from different ministries, churches, you're part of the fivefold, you hold stuff and you do stuff yourself. 
I mean, good morning to you. Glad you're here. Uh, we're getting ready to get it this morning. All right. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Are y'all ready? Come on. Is the North Side McKinney on here? I just need to know. All right. Is the North? Yeah, there you go, North Side McKinney. Just need to make sure. <laughs> Everybody, good morning. Good morning. We're on the wall. We're on the wall here. This is what we do. The faithful. This is the on, 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 on the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The faithful are here. Let's make sure we get it this morning. We're going to pray and, uh, and move you into your weekend. Uh, today's a little different. I, I normally, uh, excuse me, y'all. I, I normally have one passage of scripture. Y'all know how that goes. But this morning, I just got something in my spirit. Uh, got something in my spirit, uh, and I believe that it'll be a blessing uh, to you guys. I know that uh, uh, it's something that I believe every believer has to have, and that is a resolve. You got to have a resolve. You know what I mean, uh, Tracy Bell, a resolve. And so uh, your morning inspiration, the address for your morning inspiration is going to be coming out of Luke, the 21st chapter. Uh, Luke, the 21st chapter. And verse number 16 through 19. That's right. That's right. That's right. Luke, the first chapter, verse 16 through 19. And the reason why I'm doing that this morning is because I just want to get a resolve, a resolve in your spirit. Come on. A resolve. Somebody say a resolve. Uh, I needed to be settled. That's what that means. Resolve. Settled in your spirit. <laughs> Are y'all ready for this? And let me make sure I got I'm doing this right. Yeah, Luke the 21st chapter, verse 16 uh, through 19. Luke the 21st chapter. Let some of y'all come on. Y'all still coming in this morning. Come on. <laughs> All right, I'll be a little patient with y'all this morning. All right, be a little patient. Come on. We love you. We glad you we're glad you're here. We're glad you're here. All right, come on, come on. All right, so let me let me get right to it, all right? Those of you, uh, y'all be able to listen to it on the replay, but I want y'all to catch in, all right? It says, uh, you will be betrayed even by parents and brothers, relatives and friends, and they will put some of you to death, and you will be hated by all for my name's sake, but not a hair of your head shall be lost by your patience, possess your souls. Anybody paying attention to what I'm saying? Anybody pay attention? You, you got to hear it. All right. It says you will be betrayed even by parents. Come on. Even by parents and, and brothers and relatives and, and friends. And they will put some of you to death. And you will be hated by all for my name's sake, but not a hair of your head shall be lost by your patience. Possess your souls. I'm just going to hit a few points uh, in it uh, so that you are captured. Number one, you will be betrayed. Number one, you 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 will be betrayed. <laughs> I, I love the Lord. Yeah, okay, and you will be betrayed. Come on. Uh, meaning that you will be turned over. You will be given up. You will you will be. And listen, it says it says even by parents and brothers saying that this is gonna be close to you. Uh, this this kind of treachery won't be happening at a distance from what you expect. It's gonna happen from. It's going to happen from the areas that you, you didn't expect. And I know that in today's time, uh, the world tries to teach you, especially uh, us who are in the family of God, that it's the ones that are close to you that are going to do you bad. And so we prepare in our minds for the ones close to us to do us bad. And that's a terrible preparation. That's a terrible preparation. Uh, it should be a shock to you. It should be. And, uh, and if it hasn't been, uh, some things we br we draw into ourselves because of our faith. If our faith is going to bring the things that we meditate on good to us, then the same faith that brings the things that you meditate good to you will also bring the things that you meditate bad to you. Why? Because it's what you meditate on that draws things to you. So he's saying Jesus is talking to the disciples in his preparation for departure. He's saying, listen, you will be betrayed. You will be betrayed. Come on, what else does he say? He says, he says, they will they will put some of you to death. Death is a part of the human experience. Death is a part uh, of being a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. This death here is not just the physical death, but this is also talking about 
uh, and he's talking direct. Listen, and he's talking directly to the disciples. He said, some of you will fall off. <laughs> you, you can't you don't have an opportunity. But man, listen, you you'll you will not only be betrayed, turned over and and thrown into prison, but you will even be put to death, literally put to death. That's part of the experience. Uh, death, because uh, death, we got to be prepared. Not only does death happen, but when death happens, there's there's pain, there's mourning. And the scripture says, mourn with them uh, that are mourning. Come on, y'all. Come on. Come on. Come, listen, come on. Come on here. I got you today. I got you today. This is your Saturday morning. This is your 8 a.m. experience on Saturday morning. This is good. T take time right now. Go like, go comment, go share. Yes, but I need you to tag somebody to bring them in. I'm going to close that at the end. But I need you to bring somebody in to this. Text somebody. Call somebody. So keep the tell Leroy for all the way from Canada. Let's do this. Get on here this morning. You will be betrayed. And listen, and you will be put to death. Death. Are you telling me? I'm serving the Lord. And death is coming. Death is coming either by time. Death is either coming by a satanic attack. Death is either coming by human error. Death is even. <laughs> death is coming. And Jesus says, they're going to put you to death because you're calling out my name. So death even, even comes for standing for righteousness. Standing on the name of the Lord. Come on, y'all. Come on this morning. So he says, you'll be betrayed, be betrayed. You'll be put to death. Then he says, and you will be hated. And you will be hated. I've never seen a world where so many people want to be like. And can't, can't stand, <laughs> can't stand the fact that if you want to be liked by many, you're going to be persecuted by many. If you want to be liked by many, you're going to be hated by many. If you want to be liked by many, you have to have the expectation uh, that the enemy says you want to stand for righteousness. He says you are going to be hated. This hated is not just I don't like you. This hated here is persecuted. This hated here is you, you, you will be wondering, really? Really, Lord? You're wondering, I'm serving you. I'm loving you. I'm doing what you said. I, I'm giving. I'm tithing. I'm serving in the kingdom of God. I serve at my church. I help people in all. I make sure people are taken care of. But yet here, this thing is coming towards me. Absolutely. Are y'all understanding what I'm saying? Persecution. Persecution even come with the hundredfold. Scripture says in Mark, the 10th chapter, it says that in this time, in this land, right here, right now, you will lose uh, houses, mothers, uh, sisters, brothers. Uh, but now in this time, in this life, you shall reap a hundredfold. And it says you'll get all that back with persecution. Persecution comes with success. Persecution comes with being like. Persecution comes with standing for the gospel. Persecution, if you want to do anything in life, if you cannot handle people hating on you, you will not do anything great in life because God loves you too much to put you in position for you to shrink back from what he told you to do because you cannot handle people not liking you. You can't afford to stand for God and have it security. You can't afford to stand for God and you can't stand somebody dogging you. Jesus, come on, you know the old phrase back in the hood, they hated Jesus, so you know they're going to hate you. That's what it says. He says, listen, you will be betrayed. Come on, thrown in the prison, turned over, given up by people close to you. And listen, and you will be put to death. This is you physically going to die because somebody trying to kill you. They don't like you because you're calling on my name. He says, you will be, listen, you will be hated, persecuted by all for my name's sake. And get this, get this. And then here something shows up. Here's something, somebody ought to give God glory. Here's something shows up in the middle of Jesus closing out his dissertation and giving them their last instructions. And he's encouraging them with this. And they're saying, are you encouraging me with this? Absolutely. Come on. This is what Jesus says. He says, but anybody know what I'm talking about? He says, but he says, I, this is what I wrote down. 
though all this is going, but remember, he says this is going to happen, but remember, remember what? Remember, who? are y'all ready for this? Remember, I chose you, you didn't choose me. Come on, I made you for this. I made you for this. You did not make me. I, all of this here didn't just show up. He says, I chose you. I created you for this. You were able because, listen, I chose you. I knew you was able. Yeah, they're going to betray you. Yeah, they're going to put you to death. Yeah, they're going to hate you. But know this. I chose you. He says, but, but not a hair of your head shall be lost. The scripture says, verse number 17, uh, or rather 18, but not a hair of your head shall be lost. He, what does that mean? It means you shall not lose anything because victory, come on, because your victory is not in what you have, but your victory is in who has you. Your victory is not in what you have, but your victory is in who has you. Not a hair on your head. I know this is going to happen. I know this is going to happen. I know that's going to happen, but not a hair. He's not talking about just the hairs on your head. What he's saying is that your head will not, listen, your head should not be lost in this. You should not overstress. You should not be in overwhelmed. You should not fall into anxiety. I know all of these things will be available for you to choose, but I don't want you to choose the panic. I don't want you to choose anxiety. I don't want you to choose to worry. I don't want you to choose to be in fear. Why? Because all this I'm telling you ahead of time because verse number 19 says, by your patience, possess your souls. What is he saying there? He said that by patience, get this, with with a spirit of endurance, whoo, get a grip on your heart. With a spirit of endurance, understand your vitality. Get it together. Get your mind, the, the vitality of your life. He says, by your patience, possess your soul. Am I helping anybody this morning? Am I helping anybody this morning understand what Jesus has said? Jesus is saying, all this is coming, but you're not going to lose your mind. You're not going to lose your head. You're not going to go crazy because you're going to look at it and go, listen, to live is Christ, but to die is great gain. You're going to look at it. You're going to say people hating on me. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers us out of them all. You're going to be betrayed. He says you, you are betrayed, but you're betrayed and you're, you're turned over on every side. He says, but the Lord, the Lord, he is my savior. He is my rock. He is my foundation. He is my niece. He is going to give me the victory because many are the afflictions. Yes, I get it. And all the attacks me. Yes, I get it. He says, but there is no temptation that is common to man that the Lord will not make of a, a way of escape. And he always causes me to triumph. He ever liveth to make intercession for me. Anybody know what I'm talking about? He said, you got to get this together. So now, Pastor, with all that explanation, hold on a minute. What is the motivation? What's my motivation? Your motivation right now is to let somebody else know about the until dynamic devotion and prayer 8 a.m. experience. This is church. <laughs> Get this. Your motivation. Can I read it to you? Some treacherous things and very hurtful moments. Y'all want me to say that again? I I'll, I'll do it again. Some treacherous things and very hurtful moments. Even death is, is certain to come. Wow. Some callers, are y'all hearing this? Some treacherous things and very hurtful moments. Even death is certain to come. But know this, none of it will take anything from you. And you will not lose a thing. So get yourself prepared and get yourself together. Get your mind right for this. <laughs> That's your motivation. <laughs> That's your motivation. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read it all together at one time, all right? It says, some treacherous things and very hurtful moments, even death is certain to come. But know this, none of it will take anything from you, and you will not lose a thing. So get yourself prepared and get yourself together. Get your mind right for this. So what's my application? What's my app? How, what, could, what could this be? What could my app be today? This is your app today. This is your app today. 
Torrance, this your app today. The Shannon, this your app today. Mama Carolyn, Tracy Bell. Come on. Financial keys to freedom. Robert Jackson. Are y'all hearing me? This this year. This year after day. With all that's happening, with all that's coming, with all you're facing, with all that you're going through. And this is Jesus telling the disciples, those that have walked with him for three years. He's telling them, listen, they, they, they walk with him for three years. They, they have been serving. They have been faithful. They watched the miracles. They watched the ones that were dead come to life. Those that had blind eyes open their eyes. Those that had lost their mind cutting on themselves. Those that all, they saw demon possessed. He, they saw all of this. And then Jesus closes out with this. Really, Jesus? Really, God? This is what you're telling me? We had an expectation that we were going to be able to have everything that we desired. And Jesus says that I've already given that to you back in Deuteronomy 8. I'm going to bless you in the city, bless you in the field, bless you when you come, bless you when you go. And with your hands, you have the power to get well. Jesus already gave you all of that. Most of us are coming. <laughs> most of us are coming expecting, expecting because I come to the Lord that all this is gone. He said, listen, all this is coming. All this is coming. But know this, I chose you. You were made for this. Some of you, you were made for it. And anytime God does something in our lives, we know that we're living sacrifices. So it's for the benefit of somebody else. So you shouldn't do any of these things to yourself. Don't betray yourself. Stay in the will of God. Don't hate on yourself. Love yourself. You can't do what God told you to do until you know how to love yourself. Love your, love your neighbor as you love yourself, which is the greatest commandment, the second greatest to the one that's before it. And that's love the Lord your God with all your heart, your mind, and your soul. Don't put yourself to death. You don't, Listen, don't kill yourself. This is not the will of the Lord. The will of the Lord says all this is coming, but you know because you are in my hands. You are in my will. Am I blessing you this morning? <laughs> Is this word talking to you this morning? Come on. Come on. I'm, I'm, hard, I'm hard on you this morning. Listen, y'all y'all on Saturday, on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, y'all, listen, y'all die hard. Y'all know this. You have a responsibility. Come on. And listen, listen, he says, he says this. This is your, your app. Today, y'all know what to do. I know some of y'all already did. Everybody, come on, today, today. Today, I got, I'm going to have seven minutes to pray, but I have to get this in your spirit. Come on, IG. Today, come on, y'all. Today. Missy, you got it? That, this is already. Missy got it already. Today. The application according to this word today is stay in the will of the Lord. <laughs> stay, in the, stay in his will. Stay, stay in his will. Where is his will found, Pastor D? His will is found in his word. His will is in his word. Stay in the will of God and, and you will have the vitality or uh, the abundant life. Let's stay in the will of God. Come on, somebody give him praise for it this morning. Come on, give him praise for it this morning. Today, today, when the enemy is going to try to pull you out of the will of God, you stay in the will. When the enemy is going to try to attack you and betray you, I already told you certain these there's certain there's certain things that are going to happen in your life. You are going to be betrayed. That's certain. That's going to come. Death is certain to come. Come on, that's certain to come. Being hated, that is certain to come. Y'all better get it. Y'all better get it. Come on, y'all better get it. <laughs> Today, listen. I love I love y'all too. I love you. You know I love you. Can I pray for you this morning? I'm going to pray for you this morning. I'm going to let you go. I know you got stuff to do. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you this morning. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify your name, God. Thank you for your will. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your care, your tender, loving care. Thank you for being mindful of us. Thank you, oh God, that we know that we have the things that we have petitioned you, have petitioned you because, God, you knew before we ever arrived that you were going to put us in position, God to be glorified here in the earth. And God, there's no greater glory than being in your will and watching your will happen in our lives. 
Lord God, we see your word and we read your word. And too often, God, uh, we tried to exempt ourselves from your word. And so uh, today, God, we stand firm, believing and knowing that because you have our best interests at heart. Thank you, Lord, that you have our best interests at heart. You uh, you have a plan for us. You uh, you made us for this. You chose us. You you created us uniquely and wonderfully made is what you said. And so, God, we take you at your word that, that we're able to handle this that we have been considered worthy because God, many are the afflictions and you call us righteous, but your word says, uh, God, that there's no good thing that you shall withhold from them that are, that are righteous, that are walking uprightly before you. God, we bless your name. We bless your name, God, because we understand that you are the great God <laughs> and we love you. You are the Prince of peace. And so God, even in the midst of, of all the things that are going on in the midst of the hate, in the midst of the death, in the midst of the threats, in the midst of the betrayal. Father, we thank you that you are our shalom. You are Yahweh. You are El. You are Jehovah Shalom. You are our peace. You're the peace that passes all understanding. You're the peace that reaches us, God, in the middle of the storm. You're the peace, God, that calms the storm in our lives. You're the peace, God, that gives us comfort and knowing. You are, God, the great comforter, the wisdom, the great I am. You are the I am that I am. When others want to know who are you, and that means, God, how are we able to stand in the face of adversity, in the face of death, in the face of betrayal, in the face of pain? I am. There is no full explanation that the world can understand because the world cannot understand the things of the spirit. This is a spiritual matter, God, that we know that you have put us in position. Help us to utilize our understanding, our superpower of wisdom, our superpower, God, of peace, our superpower, God, that you have given us. We're casting our cares upon you, our superpower of prayer. We're coming before you, God. And you said that if we abide in you, then you would abide in us. And so, God, by an act of our faith, God. We will ourselves, we will, God, understand. We will possess our souls. We will possess our minds. We will, God, not choose those things which are anti you and call you at the same time. And God, when we sin, when we fall short, when we slip, God, we ask that you forgive us. And in this moment and in this time, God, where we have tried to avoid, God, the understanding of what you said, when we have tried to, God, move ourselves away from your will, outside of your word, God. We thank you that your love still kept us. Come on. We thank you, Lord, that you still drew us to you. Come on. We thank you, Lord God, in the name of the Lord Jesus, that you never left us and you never forsook us, God. And even, Lord God, when we left you and we forsook you, you still kept your covenant with us. You are covenant-keeping God. You're not going to break your promises. Your promises are yes and amen. And you've already signed the document of your your covenant with us in blood, God. It is not changed and will not change and cannot change. And so today, God, we thank you for forgiving us. We thank you for putting us in position. We thank you, Lord God, for creating us like you did. God, a lesser person would have folded when somebody hated them. A lesser person would have folded them, God, when anxiety tried to rush in. A lesser person would have folded, God, when death sat at our door, when God people hated on us. But God, because of the way that you made us, the way that our mind is worked, the way that our life is set up right now, we're not counting on ourselves, God, but we're counting you, God. We're counting on you. Lord, have mercy when we stepped away. Lord, have mercy when we needed you, God, and we were trying to do it on our own. Thank you for your goodness and your kindness. Thank you for your grace, God. Thank you for your favor, your favor ever surrounding us as a shield. Thank you, Lord God, for your love. Thank you for your tender kindness. Thank you for your tender mercy. Thank you for this morning's breath, God. Thank you for breathing into us the breath of life on this morning. It could have been our time. It could have been your call for our lives, but God, you got us in the planet this morning. And so we're going to glorify you by staying in your will. We're going to glorify you, God, by standing up for you. We're going to glorify you, God, by letting others know that it is the will of God that we want to see happen in our lives. We want to please you, God. We want to obey you, Lord God. We love you, and so we obey your commandments, God. We're going to stay right here, God. We're going to be in your will, Lord. We're going to be found doing your work. We're going to be found, God, telling others about you. We will be found, God, not folding, not fainting, God, and not fleeing but we will stand fighting in the name of the Lord Jesus. Come on, somebody. Give him glory for it right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Lord, we're counting on you. Yes. Lord, we need you now. Yes. Lord, we need your help. We need your hand. We need your healing, God. Help us to have your heart because we love you. We want to grow with you, God, as our days continue to extend into tomorrow, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus. You've already prepared it. Now prepare us today, God, in the name of the Lord Jesus. We love you. God, we want you, Lord. We know that there is none like you in all the earth and so did Today, God, we call on your name today, God. We call on you today, God. We call on you, Jesus, that that name every knee will bow. Jesus, every tongue will confess. Jesus, there's no greater name than the name of Jesus. Yahshua, your son. Yahshua, the son of Yahweh. Our living, our true God. Our soon coming king. Our great I am that I am. The one that is always present. The one that is everywhere at all times. The one who has all power. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we will not throw in the towel because we know, God, that but you always cause us the triumph. You always gives us the victory. And we give you praise for it now, God. Thank you, God, now. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Do it for our family members, Lord God. Do it for the ones that are hating on us. Do it for the ones that are wanting us to die. Do it for the ones, Father God, that are persecuting us. Do it for the ones, God, that are lying on us, God. Do it for the ones that are causing the pain right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Because, God, we know that there were times in our lives when we were the culprits, when we were the ones that were causing the pain, where we were the ones that were hating, where we were the ones that were gossiping, and we were the ones that were lying. And God, since you forgave us, we ask God now that you will forgive them that are doing it to us. We're not calling judgment on them. We're not calling you to destroy them. We're not calling you to remove them. Your word even says that in the presence of our enemies, you anoint our head with oil and our cup runs over surely goodness and mercy shall follow us and your word says that the same shall we receive of the Lord that which we do for others so God we're asking that you would do it for the hater that you would bless them that you would lift them out of the foolishness of the filth that they're in do it for the ones that are trying to cause death God forgive them for they know not what they do hallelujah God and we want to give you praise we want to give you glory today God we want to tell you God, that we love you, we appreciate you, we need you today, God, we glorify you, it's in the name, <laughs> it's in the will, come on, it's in your word, God, it's hidden in our hearts so that we might not sin against you, we bless you, we bless you, come on, we bless you, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, if you thought you was going to get through this life, <laughs> unscathed, <laughs> Ah, you might not be in the will of the Lord. Come on, somebody. Come on, glory. Hallelujah. Bless him. Bless him. We don't own the rights to this music. This is men of standard. <laughs> this is men of standard. Staying in your will. I'm going to let y'all be blessed today. God is good. God is faithful. Instead of calling judgment on your enemy, ask the Lord to bless them. Take on Jesus. Take on your own cross. Father, they don't know what, they don't even know who I am. They're persecuting me, but not one hair on my head is going to be lost. Nothing missing, nothing broken in my life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Come on. God, do it for everybody around me. Let my crew. <laughs> let my fellowship. Let, let, let my people. Let them all be blessed. And let them all have a mind to serve you. In the midst of betrayal. Some treacherous things. Even death is certain to come. But the Lord, but God, come on, but God. Hallelujah. This morning, you got a word from the Lord this morning. You got a word from the Lord this morning. Now, what is what are we going to do with that word? I know you're like, are you, is he still going? <laughs> it's Saturday, yes. 
<laughs> what are we going to do with this word? We're going to apply. You're going to stay in the will of the Lord. That's your application today. You're going to stay in the will of the Lord today. And you're going to pick up where you threw in the towel. And you're going to fight. You're going to fight another day. But you're not going to fight now with your fist. You're going to fight with your faith. After saying yes to Jesus, the greatest thing that you need to learn how to use is your faith. Because without your faith, without faith, it's impossible to please God. And that's what we want to do. We want to please God. Come on, a but God. You better hear me. So now today, in order for you to stay in the will of God, you got to have the faith to do so. That's why he says, by patience, doing what you know to do is right, even if it doesn't look like it's working. You got to do the right thing. You got to do the right thing. Now, how, how will I know it's the right thing? Because you automatically going to know what the wrong thing is. How you know that, Pastor? Because the word of God says that when you become righteous, you understand just humankind. You know the difference between good and evil. That's called discernment. Everybody talk about they got the gift of discernment. Yeah, everybody got the gift of discernment to tell the difference between <laughs> good and evil. I would. I would no stop even confessing that you would because you're gonna have the things that you confess. Stop that. Fight with your faith. All right, y'all. Call us. Thank y'all so much for sticking in there. Brother, you know I love you, man. Appreciate you. And all the rest of you. Hey, bring somebody tomorrow. You hear me? Tomorrow. Bring somebody tomorrow. It's gonna be powerful. Love you. Have a great day. IG. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for being here today. Do me a favor. I'm asking you to do one thing. I'm asking you to lead. Lead one person to the call on tomorrow. One person to the live on tomorrow. All right? Be blessed. Love y'all. Have a great day. Facebook. YouTube. Listen, come on. Saturday morning. I'm going I'm I'm to I'm hang y'all up and I'm, I'm going to listen to this one more time. I've been listening to this the whole morning. <laughs> How are we going to do it, Sharon? That's right. We're going to do it by faith. I love you. Have a great day. Let the Lord get the glory out of your life today. Your life what, Sapphire? The good life. That's right. Your good life always starts with God. Y'all take that. Take that with you. That's going to be a blessing for you. Have a great day.